Hello everybody, Kelly Atchison from astampabub.com coming to you from Menasha, Wisconsin. Welcome to my Facebook Live tonight. I am excited to be here with you. I have some really, really awesome cards to share with you. Hi Sarah. Mickey, glad you guys could tune in. Oh, my hair is kind of a mess, isn't it? I just took a shower. I was kind of hot. It's hot in our house. Hi, Lynn. Hi, Mary. So, we have um, some things to catch up on, I think. Hi, Christine, Heather, Claudia, Sierra. Welcome. Marsha, glad you could tune in. Hair not working for me tonight. Hi Jenny, hi Sarah. So um, we have some fun promotions going on right now. I'm just gonna cover, touch base on some of those. Hi, La hi Lorraine from the UK. Joyce, Michelle, Julie. Um, we have right now bonus days with your order. $50 before shipping and tax. And you get a $5 coupon to spend in September. So for every $50 that you order in August, you get a $5 coupon. Now Stampin' Up! will email you the coupon codes and you have to hang on to those until you put in an order in September where you can use them. So don't, don't forget, don't lose sight of those codes. They do not send them to me. I can't help you with them. So if you happen to lose your bonus coupon code you'll need to call Stampin Up and um, their phone number is all over your catalogs. Speaking of which we have brand new holiday catalogs coming out. Uh, if you need one let me know. If you don't have a Stampin Up demonstrator I would love to earn your business so don't hesitate to pop me an email at kelly at a stamp .com, and I will get one out in the mail. I have a bunch of catalogs, um, other catalog requests going out this week. So, hello Ella, Mary, Heather. Thank you for the share, appreciate it. Don't forget to share my video. You can click on the share button right now and share it with all your friends. That really helps me out. If you happen to be watching later after the live on YouTube, you can also click on the share button. That's also really helpful for me and I do appreciate it. Hi Joyce. Hi Lori. Karen. Tell me where you're coming from. You want to make sure that you at least leave one comment on my Facebook Live so that I can enter you in the drawing to win fabulous product. Hi Debbie, Barbara, um, we also still have the Blended Seasons promotion going on right now. Now, I have an online class coming out on August 25th using this bundle. Online class is a private class where each project has its own video. And um, this is not something that I release out to the public on my YouTube channel. It's kept, um, it's kept under wraps. You can get the online class for $25 or when you order this bundle and the new watercolor pencils from me, you will automatically get the online class for free. So that's a $25 value. And um, I will look back at previous orders to see who has ordered it prior to the 25th when I will have it ready to roll. So I hope you guys had a great week. Um, we had a really busy week here. I was trying to work ahead a little bit, so I've been spending a lot of time in my stamp room. So much time that I just broke my paper drawer. So um, I have new filing cabinets from Ikea sitting in the boxes in my living room since Christmas. <laughs> I know. And um, now I'm going to have to get them out and put them together because I just broke my drawer and I can't get my top drawer closed all the way or opened all the way and now that's a problem. So it's going to make me move on this new furniture thing that I've been trying to do since Christmas. Yeah, I know. Um, I received one card in the mail this week. And I know it's backwards, but it says, um, Amazing You. And it's very cute because I actually made the card, but my mom sent it to me. 
And it says, Kelly, thank you. Doesn't seem like it is enough for the experience I got to have and to have my best friend along to share it with. Wow, love you to infinity and back mom. And she's talking about her trip to Alaska that I took her on. So thanks mom, if you're watching. My mom doesn't usually watch, she's not a stamper. But um, I love getting cards, so I know, right? Thank you for the love. Um, it, was, it was pretty sweet. And what else did we do? Um, Friday night we, I, I took a break from working and um, we had a little fun. We took the Harley up to Seymour, which is, I don't know, probably like uh, 30 miles away. I'm not really sure, it's not that far. We rode the bike up to Seymour where we went to the Colonial House um, and that was actually not in Seymour. It was in some little town. Where is the Colonial House? Lori just got back from Alaska. Um, I hope you had a wonderful time. Yeah, Stamp and Steve might be putting furniture together for me, Lori. Thank you. <laughs> I'm sure he'll be thrilled with that. Um, yeah, so anyways, we went to the Colonial House in this little tiny town by Seymour and had dinner, and it was a seafood buffet, and oh my gosh, it was so good. It had shrimp on it and um, all kinds of fish and um, smelt, meh. Freedom, yes, thank you, Lori. It's in Freedom, Wisconsin. And um, it was just a fabulous buffet. But what we found is that we don't eat enough food in a sitting to really be getting our money's worth from a buffet because it was kind of pricey. And so, um, I don't know, it was very good. We had a great time. Thanks, Lisa, yep. Um, your aunt and uncle lived there. Shar, that's cool. So we did that, and then the big attraction was Seymour has a festival this weekend, a hamburger festival, because I think that's where the first hamburger was created. And so Friday night they had a balloon rally, a hot air balloon rally. And um, we, when we got done eating, we were kind of late because the balloons took off at 6 o'clock. And so we um, rode over to... Seymour and we could see all the balloons coming through the sky and it was just so beautiful and I took some pictures but the pictures just don't do it justice because the balloons were so big and colorful and pretty and um, so that was really cool and then our ride home it got a little cool <clears throat> so um, we had to pull over and I, I brought a little jacket and I put that on and Steve put on his sweatshirt and then we were good to go so it was a really fun ride I was glad to be able to get out and do that and then Saturday, I had my um, card buffet, and that had a big crowd at it. I had a lot of new ladies there. I don't know if anybody's watching from Saturday morning that was new. I know Lori Hyde is on here, and she was there, so was Lisa Vanden Nelson. Um, so that was a great card buffet, and as soon as that was over, I headed to my brother-in-law and sister-in-law's house, for a party celebrating the wedding that I went to in Mexico. So um, my niece got married, Steve's niece got married in Mexico and we went to that wedding back in the end of April. So they just had a big party and that was really fun. So we got to spend some time with his um, family, which I always enjoy. And it was really cool because they just built a brand new house and it was in the Parade of Homes. So it's pretty nice. And um, Mike, my brother-in-law, has a full-size golf simulator in the basement. Oh my gosh. So I golfed once in my life like 30 years ago when I lived in Madison. Um, and so I got to hit some balls. And um, I actually got one of them right onto the green. So I did okay. That was really fun. And then today, we didn't have Sunday Fun Day today because... Anna and her family were up north for um, the fishery and Roberts Lake at Roberts Lake. Haley and Jared were um, in Chicago for a Cubs game. And Stephanie came up yesterday for the party and went home this morning. So, oh, and Rachel, my friend Rachel, she usually comes over on Sundays. She was boating today. So um, I just worked all day and I'm kind of excited because we are gonna go on a little road trip tomorrow. We're gonna head down to Dubuque, Iowa and we're going to travel the Mississippi 
up to Duluth, Minnesota. And it's something my husband has always wanted to do. And you guys know I'm always up for some travel. So I said, yeah, let's do it. Hi, Haley. I hope you had fun at the Cubs game. It looks like it. I saw all your snaps. My daughter is watching now. Um, so that's what we're going to do for a couple days this week. So it should be really fun. Oh, Haley's still in Chicago. Yay! Um, so that was our week. It was, it was fun. It was busy. And I am just about ready to go for a couple days. I've got all my things lined up ahead of time. I have a blog hop on Tuesday night and it's a color challenge so I think you'll like the cards they're really bright and fun and summery and um, the game just started Haley she just said it just started I'm like the game just started maybe um, <laughs> oh Kathy was born in Dubuque well that's cool I don't know that I've been to Dubuque I might have traveled there with my father um, my mom and dad were both over the road truck drivers and they um, they were a team on a, my dad's truck. Well, they owned a truck, so they were a team on a truck and um, Eagle Point Park. Okay, good to know. Thanks, Susan. Um, we might have, I used to go trucking with my dad when I was off school. That was a fun thing for me to do. And um, I might have gone through Dubuque probably, but I don't remember it. So that'll be fun. Okay. Um, I shared the cards that I received this week. Um, don't forget, I am headed to Orlando, Florida in November for the Stampin' Up! On Stage event. This is a convention that Stampin' Up! puts on, and it runs, um, people come in on Wednesday, and it ends on Saturday. And you have to be a Stampin' Up! demonstrator to go, but there's no time, like right now, to um, sign yourself up as a discount shopper. You get a 20% discount on all your purchases. And um, it's a fabulous, uh, a fabulous time to be able to go be with so many other people that love what we do with paper crafts. So if you are interested in, interested in that, August 14th starts registration. You would have to buy your starter kit before then. And then you'll be able to sign up and go to Orlando, Florida. I have several, um, I don't know if we're eight, ten people heading down there on my team with me. So it'll be a lot of fun. It's just something fun to do. If you need a girl's vacation, this is the one to go on. Yes, and Sandy, um, I hope to meet you too. Please, if you see me in Orlando, please come up and introduce yourself. I would absolutely love that. Okay. Um, let's see. That promotion ended Friday, so I don't need to talk about that. Um, let's get to the prizes. I think what I'm going to do here, oh, I need to get myself on my laptop so I can see what's going on. How about that? <laughs> I'm so busy just chattering away here, not paying attention. Where will the April on stage be? I'm not really sure, Linda. If anybody else knows that, they can chime in. Shelly, do you happen to know where the April on stage will be? Um, I don't know if we know yet. It's usually in Milwaukee or Minneapolis or Madison. So... Sharing is caring. Thank you, Susan. <laughs> Thank you for caring. I love that. Sharing is caring. I'm going to totally use that. That's a really cute phrase. Okay, looking to get myself up here. Let me put on my mute button. I've got my phone plugged in, so we shouldn't have any issues there. And I'm going to make my screen bigger so that I can hopefully see a few more comments. Yes, thank you, Leanne. My phone is plugged in. Hi, Kathy Miller. Hi, Mary Lynn from Washington. Oh, um, Shelly just said that they'll probably announce it at the um, November on stage where it's going to be in April. And hi, Mary Hornicky. I'm so glad that you could tune in. Mary just friended me today on Facebook and I said, hey, I've got my live tonight. So, um, okay, prizes. I'm going to flip around the camera so that you will be able to see the prizes and we will get on with this shindig. Okay, so if you get motion sickness, please um, close your eyes. I'll tell you when to open them. I'm gonna flip my camera around. If anything happens that we get disconnected, go up and click on the name of my page, a stamp above your creative coach. That'll refresh the page and I will come back on live as soon as I can get back on. Things happen. Hi, Deb. Um, 
So, oh, you lost me five times. Well, I'm not having any problems watching myself on my laptop, Mickey. So it's got to be your internet connection. Don't forget to share my video and leave a comment where you're coming from. Oh, Shelly, thank you. So um, the on stage in April will be announced in no at the November Orlando on stage. So that's when we'll find out. I'm so glad you could make it, Debbie. Okay, hang tight, close your eyes, and I'm going to get this flipped around so we can keep going. All right, so far our flip was okay. Now let's see if I can get you in the holder and not disconnect you. Okay, I think that worked. And I always kind of put this in here so I know where the center and top of my screen is. You guys can open your eyes now. I think we're good. <laughs> Rosemary, your video stopped. That's on your end. That's your internet connection. It's just not working real well tonight. I'm really sorry, but um, mine is still running on my screen on my laptop, and it is not freezing at all. So sorry about that. Okay, we have winners from last week. Um, Elaine Reback of Fond du Lac, Wisconsin. I've got some Suttles candy dots for you. I actually cleaned out a couple drawers in my stamp room and I found some products that I had that I didn't use. So um, these are fabulous little embellishments. I know you'll love them in bright, pretty little colors. And then we have our winner. That was for commenting on my Facebook Live. For sharing my Facebook Live from last Sunday is Sharon Jones, and Sharon is from Sulphur, Louisiana. Sharon, you are going to get this Petal Garden Designer Series paper stack, and these are just some gorgeous, gorgeous papers. I know you're going to love them, and I know you're watching tonight, too. Okay, and then for placing an online order in my online store, this is the prize for last week and the winner is Debbie Fieldler from New Haven, Indiana. So thank you guys so much for the comments, the shares, the orders. I really, really appreciate them. I will get these out in the mail tomorrow. I have everybody's addresses here. Yeah, congratulations, Sharon. <laughs> um, so I will get these out in the mail tomorrow before I leave on my little um, road trip. Okay, then. I just, um, I came on kind of late uh, looking at things. I, I should say I wasn't as organized as I would have liked to been tonight prior to coming on live. But I always like to share what I've made in the last week. And this was part of a blog hop with the One Stamp at a Time um, stampers. We had a challenge and it was a tic-tac-toe challenge. So there's like a tic-tac-toe grid and you can, you know, pick the three items this way, the three items here, here, whatever, and I chose flowers, wood, and burlap. And so this was the card that I made. I also stamped up the envelope here, the flap to match. And again, that is made with the Blended Seasons Bundle. This is the bundle that I'm gonna have an online class with soon. If you order this bundle and the watercolor crayons, you'll get that class for free. And then, because I was playing with, you know, sometimes I just kind of get stuck, and it's a good stuck, it's not a bad stuck, but sometimes I just get stuck um, with a color scheme or um, a layout, and I just tried a whole bunch of different ways. So, as long as I was playing with the stamp set and the wood, I made this card. And... Um, Again, it uses the Blended Season stamp set and the Friendly something. What are those called? Friendly Expressions, maybe? I think Friendly Expressions stamp set here. And this is just a really cool way to use those framelit dies. This is the negative part that you would usually throw away. You would die cut this and use that piece, but I use that negative part. And then I have two more videos going along these same lines with a different color schemes using the fall leaves from this stamp set and the middle part that I die cut because of course we can't throw that out right because <laughs> yeah we're kind of paper hoarders join I, I'm in I'm in that exclusive club too so I don't know what else I made this week 
because I looked at my stash that I keep over on my little counter. Let me check my, I'm checking my blog really quick to see. Oh, I had a little treat holder. And you guys don't find that on my blog. And I shared a Christmas card. So there we go. And then let's see. I wanted to share with you guys some of the swap cards that I got when I was on the Alaskan cruise. Now I'm going to share half of them with you today because I didn't ever get to do that. Oh, let's see. I've got questions coming. Who just asked a question? Could you use your samples as prizes too? That would be special. Oh, that's a great idea, Margaret. I love that. Maybe I'll start doing that next week. Let me write that on my list. Samples as prizes. I know my friend Barb does that. I will circle that and make it really big. So yes, that's a great idea. Okay, so sharing some cards, and I believe this is one, yeah, this is the card I got from Christine. Christine is my downline. And um, she actually was on the Alaskan cruise and she gave me this beautiful card as a thank you. Um, thank you for all the support guidance and help throughout the last years. I truly appreciate all of it. She is just such a nice person. I'm so lucky to have her on my team. So that's a beautiful, beautiful card. And then we got this one and this uses the, um, what is that stuff called? I love it, Brusho. I love Brusho. And the Dandelion Wishes stamp set that Debbie is winning here. This stamp set, that's what was used here. Isn't that pretty? I made a wish and you came true. And this is made by Amanda. So um, don't have a last name there. I don't have a name on this one, but is this not gorgeous? Holy cow. Absolutely love this. Sure. Janet says another paper hoarder. That's my issue too. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, paper hoarding. It's it's fun, right? <laughs> Here is another gorgeous, gorgeous. These are all new products out of the um, the big catalog. Used the tufted embossing folder in the back, and one of the um, faceted is that what it's called? Faceted gems on the center. This is gorgeous. And then here are those koi fish. Beautiful, beautiful card. I like the way they kind of go like that, right? Some of our self-adhesive sequins. And here's a card using one of my favorite sets. This is the um, Abstract Impressions. I love this stamp set. It's just so fun. And then here we have Frank Lee. Remember we named him Frank Lee? <laughs> this is the Sea of Textures, another beautiful card. And then we've got that four petal flower punch and the matching stamp set. I can't remember what it's called, but this is a beautiful card too. And a mask here um, to make an oval. That was pretty. Yes, um, actually Janet just asked me if I could do a one sheet wonder it's called. And yes, I've actually been looking into that. So that is something that I will have coming up. After I did the box and cards last week, I wanted to, I didn't want to just go right into another single project to make. So we're going to make some multiples of cards. But um, I am going to do a one sheet wonder in the near future. So thank you for that suggestion. I always appreciate your suggestions. And isn't this just adorable? I love Rue. And they cut a hole in the kangaroo's little pouch and put the heart in there. That is super, super sweet. This card is by Morel Taylor. And this one was from Rumi Radomsky. Kimberly Dent. No name. Okay. Cute, cute, cute. This one is another really pretty card. I just made a card for an upcoming blog hop. I have another blog hop on Sunday night using this paper, so watch for that. This is by Stella McKay, my friend Stella. I love Stella, she's from California. And this is her swap card. Are these showing, yeah, these are showing up without the glare, right? Because they're in the clear envelopes and that does create a glare. Here's another really soft and pretty card with the um, embossing folder in the back ground. This one is by, I don't know, I can't really read a name here. But anyways, it's very pretty. It looks kind of German. 
And then here's one with the animal outing. Super, super cute. Now, you know what? This looks like it does something. I'm going to open this up so we can see what does it do. Oh my gosh, look at that. Isn't that cute? That is just super, super sweet. And it's a full card. This is by Ann Granger. So it's a full card that sits up like this. Love, love, love. I love this stamp set. I just think it's the cutest thing ever. And then we have Sherry Roth made this beautiful one. I just got this bundle this last week. So you watch for some things coming from me with that. It matches the Trop Tropical Escape Designer Series paper. And remember, the striped green stuff? I made watermelons out of that. Yeah, it looks like watermelon, Ryan, doesn't it? And then here's the last card I'm going to share with you. This is by Geneva Co. And I know her. She's a wonderful stamper. And again, she used the animal outing. Super cute. Okay, let me put these away quick. And we are going to do some stamping. I, I had a bag someplace. I don't know what happened to it. All right. I'm going to do, I don't know if you would really call this a fun fold or not, but um, it's a fun card for sure. And it's actually designed by my downline and friend, Kathy Miller. And I asked her if I could share this for my Facebook Live because I fell in love with this card. It's just the most adorable thing. You're going to love it. You're going to love it. <laughs> okay. Let me get all my bits and pieces out here. We've got some dimensionals. We've got the quilt top embossing folder. We've got our pink and silver um, baker's twine. Did you guys get this yet? There's pink and silver and pool party and silver, and it is just the funnest baker's twine. I've been using it like, I think this is my third or fourth roll that I've gone through. I absolutely love it. And I've got a little Wink of Stella, which I'll probably forget to put on, so don't let me forget. Let me get all this stuff out of the way here. And that looks like that's it. Okay, we can stamp. Yay! I'm gonna bring in my cardstock layers here first. I have got a piece of thick whisper white. This piece is five and a half by five and three quarters, and then it's scored at five and a quarter. But no, hang, hang on, four and a quarter. Sorry, let me start over. That was confusing. This is five and a half by five and three quarters, scored at four and a quarter. And this is the thick cardstock. You do really, if you don't, if you haven't ordered any of these. Um, Whisper White and Very Vanilla Thick Cardstocks. They make fabulous bases for our cards. I highly recommend them. And then we're going to come in with a Whisper White piece that is two by three and a quarter. And then we've got a piece of Flirty Flamingo that is two and a quarter by three and a half. So it's going to layer right behind here. We have two strips of Flirty Flamingo that are one and three eighths by five and three eighths. And remember, if you're not catching all these measurements, you um, you can, after I post this, once we're done with Facebook Live, I will post the video to my Facebook page. I will also upload it to YouTube. But you can go back through and you can skip ahead. You can push on that little button that'll fast forward, rewind, pause, and you can get all of these measurements. I also post crystal clear photos and um, the uploaded Facebook Live video on my blog every Tuesday. So you'll be able to, I'll have all the dimensions under each card that we're gonna, I'm gonna show you tonight. So just know that you don't have to be like crazy, like, oh my gosh, I just missed the measurement. You can get it when we're done. This is a piece of the Thick Whisper White also. And this piece is, one and a half by five and a half. And then I've got two pieces of Blushing Bride and these are one and a quarter by five and a quarter. Did I tell you you needed two of these also, the Flirty Flamingo? And that one was two and a quarter, or one and three eighths by five and three eighths, if I kind of missed that. Okay, so I'm gonna take these two pieces, I'm gonna run them through the quilt top embossing folder, okay? And of course, through the magic of TV. I know, I'm amazing, right? <laughs> no. Did you guys happen to notice I'm missing a nail? 
Yeah, I broke a nail yesterday. Um, stamping can be dangerous. No, I'm just kidding. I did not break it while I was stamping. <laughs> but yeah, I, I have to go get my nails done tomorrow because that broke. And it was time. And I also have a scrap of um, our silver foil paper that we're going to be using. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to do a little stamping first on this um, white panel. And let me get one of my piercing mats out here. This is just a really nice surface to stamp on, you guys. I know I have new people watching me every week. <laughs> Sharon, yes, you're amazing. Thank you, Sharon. Hi, Jan. I'm so glad you found me. This is Jan's first time watching us live so that's exciting oh my gosh I have 201 people thank you for that Kay that's awesome thank you guys all for watching me I just so appreciate it I'm so humbled by that um, this is just a piece of copier paper that I tape around my paper piercing mat now it's not that important with smaller stamped image stamp images but when you're using the clear photopolymer stamps and especially the bigger ones um, I know when I got my first set that had a big stamp in it and I went to stamp on a hard surface, it didn't stamp good. And I'm like, oh my gosh, what is wrong? I inked it and did it again and it still didn't stamp good. And I'm like, something's wrong with this stamp. Nothing was wrong with the stamp. You need to have this little cushion under the bigger photopolymer stamps to make them stamp good. Otherwise, you will get images that are not um, solid. And so that's what this is. Okay, enough of that. I'm going to bring in my Whisper White layer here. And first of all, we are going to punch a couple vases from the Vase Builder Punch. Who has the Vase Builder Punch and the stamp set to go with it? Oh, Kathy, it's your first time watching from upstate New York. Welcome. And Ali Alicia, is it Alicia or Alicia from Michigan? Welcome, you guys. I'm so excited. Yeah, you know, I got the nicest compliment at my card buffet on Saturday and I know Lori Hyde is watching and this is what she said to me that was just so stinking cute she said I used to hate Sunday nights and I'm 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 assuming because you know okay the weekend's over and now you have to get back to real life and you got to go to work on Monday and all that good stuff um, she said I used to hate Sunday nights but now I love them because I can't wait to watch you I just don't even know what to say. I feel so blessed. Um, that is just like the nicest compliment ever. So thank you so much for that, Lori, because that really touched my heart. Really touched my heart. Oh, I've got Lee from Ireland, first time watching. Where are you guys finding me that it's your first time that you're watching? Where are you coming? Where? How are you knowing about my Facebook Live? I would like to know that. And okay, so I just inked this up in Flirty Flamingo, and I am going to stamp this down near the bottom of my layer here. And then I'm going to wash the stamp off because I kind of get ink all over the place here. If you guys don't have the chamois, who has the chamois? Who has the chamois? Love the chamois. It is like my favorite new tool, so much so. Oh, I closed up my bin. I was like, well, hang on, I'll show you. Hang tight. I'm going to show you what I did. I have all of these chamois. <laughs> these are for my stamp clubs and my card buffets. So everybody gets a chamois on their table to use. I absolutely love these things. So if you don't have one, you need to get yourself one. Yeah. Um, Kay, I love mine too. So, okay, here we go. Now I'm just going to put these vases on here. As for a little dry fit because this is what I'm going to do. And remember, this is Kathy Miller's card, my very talented Kathy Miller, my good friend and downline. She made this card for a swap. And I just found it the other day. I don't know why, if I didn't see it when I took it out of the envelope, or I don't know. I don't know what happened. But anyways, I was like, oh my gosh, this is so stinking adorable. Okay, I've got Smoky Slate ink here. And I am going to take, now this is the very basis stamp set. I'm going to take the flower and I'm just going to move this. I just wanted a little reference point. There we go. Stamp that in smoky slate. I'm going to take these other cutie patootie little flowers and I am going to move the vase out of the way and stamp those. There we go. Okay, that looks cute. Now, you could color these in if you wanted to. 
but we have stamps to stamp them, which is pretty cool. And I'm just inking this up in Blushing Bride, and this is this will fill the insides of these flowers. So I'm going to pull this back a little bit so I don't have to stick my head in the camera so I can get over top of it and see what I'm doing. There we go. Okay. And then um, you also have flowers for this little like bunch of flowers. And I'm going to stamp that in um, Blushing Bride also. I'm trying to read read your comments and stamp and and again I'm gonna I'm gonna pull this back so that I don't stick my head in the camera so hang tight I can get this lined up this, these are really little that looks pretty good okay yay I did pretty good okay then we've got some dimensionals here and we are going to pop our vases up on dimensionals and I'm using the standard size ones, but boy, I love those mini dimensionals. Make sure you're sticking your fingernail in the middle of the dimensional. That'll help um, like lift the edge up so you can get those backings off easier. And I had a team. Oh, I forgot all about my team meeting. I had a pool party for my entire team last week. And hey, you guys, if you're watching, guess what I did? I bought two packs of the most adorable, pretty cupcakes with little flowers on top, and they were just gorgeous, and I forgot to put them out on the table when the pizza got here. Yeah, yay me. So I gave a pack to Lisa. She took a pack home for her kids, and I um, was going to give the other pack away. Or what was it? Oh, I was going to take it to my card buffet Saturday. Sorry, you guys. I didn't because my husband said, well, I already ate two of them. I'm like, okay, then I'll keep them here. I did not eat a single cupcake, but I was naughty enough the rest of the week. Okay, so how pretty is this? Right? This is adorable. And now we are going to adhere that to our Flirty Flamingo layer. Oops, I got a little, I always call that like a glue booger in the end. There we go, we got some glue coming out now. Now you'll notice when I lay my, um, when I'm done with my glue, I never set it up like this, you guys. I always lay it like that. It doesn't leak, so it won't make a mess. It won't like come out and make a big mess all over your table. The reason why I do that, I had somebody ask me that recently, is because when I'm using this, I want the glue down at this tip, right? If I keep setting it up like this, I have to wait for that glue to get down to that tip every single time. But if you leave it lay on your table like this, it's always kind of right there. So there's a great tip. Okay, next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to put some dimensionals on the back of this piece. Remember, this is a fun fold, or maybe I just call it a fun layout. I don't know, it's not really a, I don't know. You will you can determine what we're gonna do here, what we're gonna call it. Okay, I'm gonna bring in this is the Whisper White Thick that is five and three quarters by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. And I'm going to fold over on that score line and give it a good burnish. I got that word from my English friends. <laughs> and then we are going to do a little stamping here. Now, I've got the words that say, you are simply the best. And I am going to ink those in Flirty Flamingo. Let's get that back over here. And I'm going to stamp that. Mm, hang on. We got something going on here. I need to know where, whoops, let's do this, where this is gonna go for placement. So I'm just gonna lay this in here. I'll ink that up again. And then I'm gonna stamp this right here. Hope I got it straight. I did, yay me, winning. Okay. Then I'm going to take the little flower that looks, it reminds me of like a rose, I guess, I don't know. And I'm gonna stamp some of these on here right around my greeting. Isn't that cute? And then, we're not done yet, we're going to take these pieces and we are going to put everything together. So let's do this. And this goes on the Flirty Flamingo. This is the um, Blushing Bride that we embossed in the Quilt Top Embossing Folder. Who has this embossing folder? This is a really fun one. I absolutely, I use this a lot. Um, I haven't used it as much 
but I did when it came out in the mini catalog and I almost forgot about it but I really like this one because it's just kind of a really nifty little design okay this piece is that whisper white thick that is mm, let me see here one and a half by five and a half and we're gonna glue that on here I love all these really tiny um, margins around here, right? That's all like a sixteenth of an inch. Okay, are you ready? So, here's what we're going to do. We're going to glue this piece onto that tab that's at the top of our card base. Just like that. Whoops. I, okay, there we go. I like the glue because I can slide things around. That works out well for me. And then we are going to tie some baker's twine on here. I'm looking around for my baker's twine. It's right here. Oh my lord. And I'm just going to run that around a couple times. I'm going to leave enough room here to tie a nice bow. One, two, and that should be good. There we go. Now, when I'm working with baker's twine, I like to tie it in a knot before I tie a bow. And that way I don't have to worry about futzing with it as I'm trying to let me get that out of there. <laughs> Did, are you guys going, Kelly, move the ink pads? Sharon likes the tiny margins too. I do too. It's that pop of color. It's just that little teeny pop of color, right? So I like to tie this in a knot so you don't have to futz around with trying to keep it tight while you're, Let's see if Kelly can tie a bow tonight. Okay, there we go, I did pretty good. Now, here's another really important tip, and this drives me crazy. If you were to just pull this tail to make this smaller, this will kind of curl up and you'll never get your bow to look nice again. So what I found is if you hang on to the loop, it doesn't do that. And I'm gonna do the same thing with the other one, I'm gonna hang on to it while I make it a little smaller. And then, whoops, hang on. I'm gonna tighten it up. And there we go. And now our bow did not curl, the loops on the bow did not curl up and look all funny. That makes me crazy. I know, there's a lot that makes me crazy, right? How are we doing? 276, holy cow, that's awesome. Wow, you guys, I am very humbled. Okay, here's the kicker. This is the last part. Oh, I didn't even do what I told you guys to do. Stick your fingernail in there to make those edges peel up so you can get these off of here without wanting to poke your eyes out. <laughs> yeah, I've been, on a, I've been on a roll with the poking my eyes out thing. Okay, here's our little layer. Now, you're gonna take this little piece right here and you're gonna put it right at the bottom of your card. Make sure you've got it lined up perfectly. And here, I'm gonna do this this way. Make sure that that's lined up perfectly. Now hold that down. And now this is gonna come right in here and I am going to center it this way, right on my card front. <laughs> is that not the coolest thing ever? That Kathy Miller, she is so crafty, isn't she? I know, I'm lucky to have her on my team. How sweet is that? So you can write in here, you can do whatever, but I love this little greeting poking out. Thank you guys so much for the love. Oh, thank you for the wink of Stella, Lisa. You knew I was gonna forget. I knew I was too. Add a little wink of Stella to your flowers to make them um, glimmer because it's just so pretty. Oh, and I have one other thing to do before I'm done here too, speaking of. I'm just adding little bits of um, Wink of Stella to my tiny little flowery things. And I know it's really hard to see in the camera, but when your person opens this card, when your person opens it, <laughs> they will be able to see that glimmer on there. I've also got some um, pearls here. And I'm going to add the little tiny pearls up here at the top to three of my flowers. So I'm going to put one here. I'm gonna put one right here. And thanks you guys, the love is still coming, holy cow. And then I'm just gonna put one on the inside. Okay, there we go. Adorable. Yeah, we can thank Kathy Miller for this one. 
Thank you, Charlene. It is a great wow factor, and it's not labor intensive. This was a very easy card to make. I love that she used the silver foil paper for the vases. Like, isn't that just spectacular? Yeah, this is a beautiful card. Okay, let me get myself cleaned up here. Okay, guys, what are you drinking tonight? Oh, I got a hair on my cup. That's gross. What's everybody drinking? Ah, that tastes good. Thank you. Yes, thank Kathy Miller for this wonderful idea. I am drinking, um, what do I drink? It's Crystal Light Raspberry Lemonade. That's my favorite, Raspberry Lemonade. And I drink a lot of it. And somebody told me that Crystal Light really isn't very good for you. Yeah, well, guess what? Pepsi isn't either. So, <laughs> I know. It is what it is. That's what I have to say about it. There's so much stuff that isn't good for you. You have somebody tell you, oh, that's not good for you. And I'm like, yeah, well, you do this, and that's not good for you either. So, hmm. right? <laughs> yeah. We can't always be doing good things. And my daughter, she used to give me a hard time um, when I smoked. She's like, Mom, that's going to kill you. And I'm like, yeah, well, you got to die from something. <laughs> I quit smoking. Don't worry. <laughs> but, I mean, seriously. We all have our vices, right? Yes, we do. Okay, let me get this mess cleaned up and move on to the next card. I am very excited about the next one. It's also a very easy and spectacular card. And um, let's see, where is it? Right here. Oh my gosh, my bucket's heavy. <clears throat> so... Do I have any questions? White Claw. Oh, Sarah's drinking White Claw. Everything is not good for us. That's right, Sharon. That's right. We just have to pick and choose the bad stuff we're going to do, right? <laughs> yeah, that's it. I mean, that's it in a nutshell. Okay, I have brand new stamp sets that I am going to be using for this next card. I'm kind of excited about it. Um, a little bit. <laughs> Picked for you. So... I think my daughter's at the Cubs game. She probably is not watching anymore, so that's good because I actually made this card for her. This is apples, and we have apples. We have a three-step stamping process using our um, distinctive um, stamp images. These are a special way to make stamps that makes them look like real life. And we have the um, stem. And then all these great little greetings. You are terrific to the core. You are the best for a special teacher. Many thanks. I couldn't have picked a better friend. And thanks to you for all that you do. Excuse me. <laughs> I've got kind of a frog in my throat. Um, so my daughter Haley, as you, well, most of you know, she just got a big girl job. She is going to be teaching a fifth, sixth grade split at a elementary school in Appleton. And I'm very proud of her and couldn't be happier for her. So, of course, I had to order this stamp set, right? But I was thinking, who else would benefit from this stamp set? I think anybody with small children because you can make some awesome cards for teachers. And by gosh, you know, we don't give our teachers enough credit. They really do need a little something. So, and also, grandparents... Grandmas, you could be getting the stamp set and making cards for your kids to give to their their kids to give to the teacher. So everybody can benefit from this stamp set. <clears throat> I'm also going to be using the Itty Bitty Greetings. This is so big that it's got two stamp cases. And um, I love these Itty Bitty Greetings. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I'm going to bring in my supplies now. Um... Let's see. Get that frog out. I know, Sharon. I need to... <coughs> when does Haley start teaching, Linda? Um, in August. I think next week or maybe this week. She has three days of in-service. So it's coming up really soon. And she said she looked at her classroom and we are going to have fun decorating it. So, <laughs> yeah, that should be a good time. And I'm so glad that I have kept, kept like all of my alphabet dies. And I've kept them over the years for mainly for scrapbooking reasons because, you know, I sell all my stuff that retires uh, because this is my job and I need to invest in new product that I can use and sell, right? But um, I kept all my dies 
to be able to, for the kids and the grandkids to use for bulletin boards and display boards for the science project and all that stuff. So that's really, really fun. So we're going to have a good time decorating that classroom for sure. Okay, I have all my supplies out here. Now, <clears throat> here comes our cardstock layers. I have a piece of cherry cobbler that is four and a quarter by 11. It is scored at five and a half and then two and three quarters. So two and three quarters and five and a half is where I've got it scored here. We're just gonna fold that. So I'm sorry if I'm missing your questions. Um, if anybody asks a question, please re-ask it and I will try to look at the screen a little little more. I get so wrapped up in my stamping that, yeah, you're asking questions and I'm like just stamping along. Okay, then let me get out the rest of my cardstock pieces here. We have a scrap of watercolor paper, a piece of whisper white that is four by five and a quarter, um, a scrap of Cajun Craze. I'm like, what is this? A scrap of Cajun Craze, a scrap of crushed curry. I've got a piece of crumb cake that is two and a half by four, and I ran it through our basket weave dynamic embossing folder. Now, this is a fabulous, fabulous folder. Who's got this folder? I'm like, I think everybody bought it during, um, Celebration. I think this was one of the free things you could get during celebration um, in January, February, and March. And uh, love it. I'm so glad Stampin' Up! kept it in the catalog so I can continue to use it, right? Okay, I'm going to glue down my crumb cake layer that is embossed. Now, another reason that I really like the liquid glue is because if you were to put a tape runner on here, that doesn't stick real good to something that has so much texture to it because the embossing folder really made it bumpily. There's your word of the day, bumpily. The liquid glue is just a better option for these embossed layers for sure. Oh, Kathy just got it in her demo kit. Well, good for you, Kathy, that's awesome. Okay, and then I've got this white layer, and I am going to stamp this with a greeting in soft suede ink. You are terrific to the core. Yay, I got it straight. <laughs> Score. Okay, now, this part's gonna go, oh, oh wait, I've got one more for a special teacher. Here we go. See if I can get this straight. I was bragging so much before. Oh, I did good. <laughs> so exciting, right? We're gonna glue this right on the inside of our card here. And then get it away from the ink pads before I drop it in there, right? Yeah. <laughs> Sharon likes bumpily. Yeah. All right, 240 watching, holy cow. That's awesome. Thank you for the update. I really appreciate it. All right, I'm gonna move this back out of the way. Now, the next thing I'm gonna do um, is really kind of cute. And this was a last minute thing that I thought of. I've got the soft suede ink and I'm using the Happy Day right here. Happy Day out of the Itty Bitty Greeting stamp set in soft suede ink. Now, with these tiny little greetings, here's what I recommend you do. Ink them up, stamp them here. Get a feel for them because they are so very little and delicate. You don't want to squish them like that because that just distorts the image. You want to get a feel for them before you stamp them on your card, okay? That's um, just a helpful hint. There we go, and that looks pretty darn good. So now I'm gonna bring in my, what is this called? I can never remember. Some kind of label punch. Who knows what this is called? Yeah, decorative, no. I don't know what it's called. Okay, um, somebody will tell me. <laughs> Hi, Sunday from Japan, welcome, that's exciting. Okay, so I am going to punch this out. Classic label punch. Thank you, Rebecca. Thank you very much. And you know, every time I use it, and I use it a lot, I can never remember what it's called. I always have to look it up. Okay, so we've got our happy day here. 
Now, I'm going to punch out a piece of Cajun Craze. Remember, this was crushed curry. This is Cajun Craze. I've got a half inch circle punch here and my Cajun Craze piece, and I am just going to insert this into my punch and round off that top edge. You guys know what I'm doing here? Have you figured it out yet? Like I said, this was an afterthought and I think it's pretty cute. So I'm just gonna snip this. This part is garbage. This is an eraser for a pencil. Um, yeah, yay. Okay, so here comes, I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue on the end of our pencil and I'm going to glue this on there. Isn't it cute? <laughs> Lisa, that's a great idea to write the name on the punch. Brilliant. Thank you. I am totally going to do that. All right. And then I've got a gray marker here. I could have used brown, but I just chose gray. I'm just going to use the wide coloring tip to color the tip of my pencil. How's that? Pretty cool, right? I didn't even see this anyplace. Like, I made this myself. Hang on. I've got an edge sticking out as I'm bragging. <laughs> Yeah, I'm usually not the person who comes up with cute things like this, but I did. Okay, and then I'm going to take this and put it on. Oh, let me, hang on. I got to trim this just a touch because things like that bother me. It's sticking out just a little bit. There we go. I'm going to put this right in here. Are you feeling it? Are you feeling it? Super cute, right? Now, all we need is some apples. I know. Okay, let me show you how to do that. I'm gonna move some of this stuff out of my way because I need to bring in, oh, my Stamparatus. Uh, yep, we're using it. I wanna make sure this is on the screen properly so you guys can see what I'm doing. Oh yeah, it looks pretty good, doesn't it? Okay, thanks Diane, it is stinking cute, isn't it? So we've got some more cute stuff that's gonna happen. Now, I futzed around last night and I put my apples in place. So I put in a piece of cardstock and I stamped it, okay? Then I took this rubber stamp and I laid it over that stamped image and then you close this and this will stick to it. And then you flip this around and you lay the next, the third image down on top of your apple. You close it and pick that up and that's how I got all these placed now I did have to reposition them a few times to get them in place but now that they're there I can make a whole bunch of apples and that's why I love 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 the Stamparatus you just cannot go wrong with this positioning tool and I love that we have two different panels to stick stuff on here and here here and here the Stamparatus is only $49, and we used it at the Card Buffet on Saturday, and I had several people buy it. They fell in love, so I'm telling you, it is awesome. So let me see if I can remember my color combination here. I have got crushed curry. Yep, I said crushed curry. Seems weird for an apple, doesn't it? And I'm using watercolor paper if I did not say that. I'm going to close this up. And it's very, very faint. You don't see much of this. Don't worry about that. We are going to turn this over. And now we are going to stamp real red. Okay, so I forgot to tell you guys something. These um, three-step stamps, let me get a piece of white something so you can read this. These three-step stamps have numbers on them. So this apple is number one. This is number one. This one with just a little bit of image on the outside is number three, and that's the one I have up here. And this one is number two, which is this one right here. And then the stem is number four. So um, you can stamp them in order, one, two, three, four, or you can stamp them in any order. It doesn't really matter, okay? Um, and then the other thing is these stamps have a little V on the top of all of them, the apples. And also, where's my stem? The stem has a little V. Can you, let me get this on white so you can see it. It's got a little V right there. So all the V's would be at the top as you're placing or stamping with them. It's just a little, little helpful hint. 
when using these um, three-step stamping. Oh, I'm getting lots of hearts. Oh, you know what, Mary? That's a great idea to be able to buy more plates for the Stamparatus, and that's a good place to put it. You guys know if you have suggestions for Stampin' Up, you put it in the sandbox on the Stampin' Up website, and they look at all of them. All of them, they look at them. So, hi, Cindy Ellers. I'm glad to see you on here tonight. Yeah, Julie Brown, you get the Stamparatus from me. I sell them. So, you go to www.astampabove.com, and in the right hand corner is an online ordering button and you click on that it'll take you right to my store in the search you just type in stamparatus it'll pop up you click on it you add it to your bag use this host code if your order is under $150 um, I will give you I give everybody that orders with me using the host code special perks if your order is over $150 don't use this code because Stampin' Up will give you Stampin' Rewards and you'll still get the perks from me so yes, that's where you can get it, from me. Okay, next. Um, I'm going to do, let's see, what is this numbered one? This was, this first one I used was number two. The second one is number one. I am inking up with red ink. And we're going to give that some good firm pressure here. Okay, so this is what our weirdo little apple looks like so far. And now I am going to ink up Cherry Cobbler on number three. This is the third number three stamp. And we're just going to stamp that, give it some good firm pressure. Okay, now we are done we, we need two apples, but of course, you know, through the magic of TV, I already have that other one done. So, <laughs> so yeah, that's how that goes. Um, so you're going to stamp a couple apples, and now I'm going to move my Stamparatus. Now, when you get ready to close this up, let me tell you a really important thing. I'm just going to clean off my stamps here before I close it. Okay. When you go to close this, you're going to take all your stamps off. You're going to close one panel. This other panel does not close when it is in the hinges. Do not try to force it. You'll break it. I mean, I think you will. I've never broken mine, but of course I know not to do this. They're pretty, this is a very sturdy little tool. You're going to take this out, take your stamps off, and what I do is I just lay it right on top like that. It comes in a really nice box. You can put it back in the box, or I just set it on the shelf. And when somebody was mentioning before that it would be nice to buy more of these plates, yeah, I actually have three Stamparatuses, so I can do that. Um, I didn't buy them so I would have more plates. I bought them so I would have, I do three projects at my stamp clubs, and I bought them, all three of them, so that if I had three pot projects requiring the Stamparatus, that I would have enough to be able to do that with my class. So, that's how you store it. All right, next, we've got our stem coming in here. And I'm going to ink that up in soft suede ink. And I think I just squished it into my ink pad. So let's try that again. Here we go. I'm going to, I'm going to pull this down so I can see what's going on. So I don't have to stick my head in the camera. And I just stamped it right there. All right. Now, this is where the fun comes in. I am going to bring in my aqua painter. Now, aqua painters come in two sizes. You get them both in one package. When you order the aqua painter, you get both of these, a smaller tip and a bigger tip. And this tip should be pointy, but one of my customers took it upon themselves to cut the end off, so whatever. Um, yeah, you should never do that. <laughs> if you're ever gonna alter your Stampin' Up! Demonstrators products, you should probably ask them first, but whatever, it still works. Okay, so. I am going to add some water. Remember, this is watercolor paper. I'm going to come around here in my darkest part. That's the um, cherry cobbler. And I'm just going to blend this color. And you are going to be amazed at how very simple this is. Again, I'm coming over here to the cherry cobbler. I'm staying away from that crushed curry inside for right this minute. Like, we're going to get to it. 
Okay, see how this outside is darker and that inside is a little lighter? Now I'm gonna wipe off my color off my aqua painter and now I'm gonna come in and just grab a little bit of red and tone down the yellow. And that gives you that beautiful watercolored highlight on your apple. We have a little bit of blending to do with our stem. I'm just gonna bring that in here, cover up these white spots. I didn't get it stamped directly in the right spot, but look at that. Is that not the most beautiful apple ever? Am I holding that in the camera, right? Yes, I am. Gorgeous, right? And you saw me do it. It was super easy. You just smear some color around after you stamp it on there. Yeah, thanks you guys. Awesome. Okay, so then we're gonna cut the apples out. I'm gonna do one more thing to my card, which went where? Right here, before we get into um, the apples. Bef that's gonna be the final touch, the aha moment. Hang on. Oh, you know what? When I was sharing with you guys what I got in Alaska, I completely forgot to show you my ring. I bought this in Alaska, and it is called a Northern Lights Topaz. Isn't it pretty? Yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. I keep forgetting to tell you I got that in Alaska. Okay, so enough about me and my ring. Um, oh, to clean your aqua painters, I, I forget that I might have some new people here. You just do this until there's no more color put the lid back on and it should just snap in place. This barrel, you just unscrew and you fill it up with water and you can do a whole bunch of things with these. You can put bleach in them and you can paint with bleach. There's just lots of techniques with the aqua painters, but this is water coloring. Okay. I wanted a bow with linen thread and I wanted a substantial bow. So here's how you make a substantial bow with the linen thread. I've got 10 inches here, and I am going to weave that back and forth four times. So I have four strings going here, because like I said, I want this bow to be substantial. And then we're going to snip the ends, and I recommend you do this now, because when you're trying to tie your bow, it confused me. <laughs> yeah, that's not hard to confuse me, <laughs> but I did get confused. So. Now we have four strands at 10 inches long and I am going to tie a bow, maybe. No, I can tie a bow. Let's try to keep all these strings together and in line and at the same, yeah, you know what I mean. Okay, here we go. I did it. I did it, yay! Okay, so when I said substantial bow, I really did mean substantial bow, right? Yeah. Thank you guys. Thanks for the ring. So pretty comments. I was pretty happy with it. Um, I can tell you that one of the things, there's a, there's a few different things that I like to buy when I am on vacation so that I'm not coming home with like island junk, like the floofy pants that everybody's wearing at the beach. But once you get home, you never wear them again. Yeah, I've got enough. I've done enough of that. So now I buy spoon rests. And I showed you mine from Alaska because we have a lot of parties and you need spoon rests to go outside all of the little hot crock pots. And I usually buy a Christmas ornament because every year when I decorate my um, Christmas tree, I can, I, I pull out, oh, there's my Alaska ornament. Oh, remember that trip with my mom? Yeah. So it's like a big thing for me to decorate my tree with all of these um, ornaments that have meaning to me. And then maybe a piece of jewelry. Not always. But I have the very, I have a ring, I'll wear it next week if I remember, from my very first Stampin' Up! Incentive trip that is absolutely beautiful that I bought when we went to the Panama Canal. So it's just kind of something cool. I don't recommend buying a bunch of junk when you're on vacation because literally it looks cool when you're in Haiti or Cozumel or wherever. But once you get home, it matches nothing. And what are you going to do with it? Nothing, right? Okay, so here's our substantial bow. And I just thought that was so cute. And then the apple, I already have them cut out through the magic of TV, right? Uh-huh, I know. It's pretty cool. I'm talented like that. <laughs> oh my gosh, I hope you guys don't think I'm full of myself because if you get to know me, you know that I'm totally not. But I do say, I do say snarky little things like that because it's funny. 
and we can all laugh at ourselves, right? And then we are going to put one apple here. And I haven't heard, have you guys heard from Haley lately? I don't think she's watching. I think she's at the Cubs game right now and she is busy eating hot dogs and drinking beer. No, my daughter doesn't drink beer, nor does she eat hot dogs, but I would be. And I'm just gonna tilt this one a little bit. And what do you guys think? <gasps> Isn't that cute? I love this. So I'm gonna give this to Haley and she's gonna love it too. She's moving this next week. Like she moved out of her apartment from college um, uh, at, the, at the end of July. And she had to wait until the 15th of August to get into her new apartment. So I will see her later this week after we get back from our road trip um, to help her move. So I will give her this. I think she's gonna love it. Okay, so on to our next project. Let me put this someplace where I can actually find it for the end. And um, let's see, I'm gonna trade this out for a clean one because I don't like you guys looking at my mess. And we'll put this away, and this away, and these, and this. Did anybody ask questions that I didn't answer? Sharon, Topaz is your birthstone. Well, there you go. Yeah, it is really pretty watercolored, isn't it? All right. This can go. Uh, oh, I just dumped over my stamp set. Hang tight. I don't want to get my cards all dirty. Okay, next. So this next project is if those two weren't cool enough. <gasps> can I be that bold? I think I can. I think I can be that bold. Um, this next one is going to knock your socks off because it knocked my socks off. Can I just say? I'm so excited to show this to you. And it almost didn't happen. So I actually um, was working on this card at, what time was it? Um, I started it at 5.15 and I go live at 7. And mind you, I still have to take a shower and eat supper. So um, this, this card happened at 5.15 and I'm super excited. Okay, so I've got Poppy Parade at 4 and a quarter by 11, scored at 5 and a half. Thank you guys so much. I love, love, love my Apple card too. Then I got two pieces of Whisper White that are four by five and a quarter. Now, if any of you joined us late, please click on the share button to share my video. I so appreciate that and that really helps me out. You get entered in a drawing when you leave a comment. So if you're watching but you haven't commented yet, you need to say something. So I'm going to do this. Let's see, what am I gonna ask you? Who loves summer? Now you can say, I do. <laughs> you need to leave a comment to get in on the drawings. Okay, I'm sorry, I gave you the wrong dimension. This is four by five and a quarter. This one is an eighth of an inch smaller. So this is three and seven eighths by five and an eighth. And then this black piece is four by five and a quarter. And then I have a piece of our Tropical Escape Designer Series paper. This is, um, I didn't really measure it, but it's about one and three quarters. I just cut out three strips of this image. So that's all I did. So it's about one and three quarters and I'm gonna trim it down to five and a quarter. And then we have some of our new silver glimmer paper. You guys, this is the coolest paper. It does not shed glitter at all. It's amazing and this is all new. Like we had glimmer paper last year but this is new glimmer paper. It's designed differently. And hi, Judy Krieger. I have not seen you in so long. Good to see you on here. And then I've got some elements for the inside. So I cut one of these strips into a long strip. And then I have a piece of Poppy Parade that is mm, like five eighths of an inch, I think. Let me measure it. I'll tell you for sure. I don't remember what it was. It is, yep, five eighths by four. Okay, now here's what we're gonna do. Oh, I missed a piece. Window sheets. Yep, we're using window sheets. And a little bit of granny apple green scrap. So, 
I am going to try to find the card that I'm making that I don't know what happened to it. Oh, here it is. <laughs> Thank God, because I'm like, oh, I don't know what to do. Okay. So here's what I'm using. I am using the beautiful layers, thinlets, and the beautiful promenade. Now, you guys remember those gorgeous designer series paper gift bags, those big gift bags that we made on a Facebook Live? This is that same stamp set. I made a matching card. It's abs They were beautiful. So this is a bundle, beautiful promenade and beautiful layers. And then I've got another stamp set that's one of these twofers two for one um, called special celebrations and there's so many greetings in here that you get two cases I am using the happy birthday because I love that funky font right and um, oh this is shining at people and hope your day brings just what it should happiness health and everything good and love this font together I just think that's so cool all right Patty loves summer because she hates wearing a coat. I just love summer because I love warm weather. Now, this paper right here is coming from the Tropical Escape Designer Series Paper Pack. There it is. Okay, there's some black and white images in here. And this is just really fun paper. I've used this in the past few weeks too. Then I'm going to bring in my ink. I've got my stamps and my ink. Now the inside layer is what we're going to do first because that's pretty uneventful. It's cute. Don't, you know, don't doubt that. <laughs> but the front is the real wowzer. So I'm going to stamp my happy birthday and I got it straight. So again, we're winning. And then I am going to do my little strips here. I'm going to put, whoops, I've got some glue stuck on here. Hang on, let me get that off. I am going to put some glue on here and I'm going to stick this right in the middle. And I just love that little pop of color coming out from under this, right? And then we're going to put it, should I close this? Does that make people nervous? <laughs> oh, thank you, Cheryl, for telling, um, Carrie, that the picked for you is on page 171. Thank you very much for doing that. I missed her question. You guys are always so wonderful about that. You know, it's hard to stamp and talk and read and monitor and yeah. I'm not whining and I'm not complaining, but it's, it's tricky. Okay, we're going to put that on there and give it a little trim here. There we go. Isn't that cute? That's just a really good idea, right? Yeah, and this is great for using up those strips of designer series paper you don't know what to do with. Okay, and as long as we're here, I am going to fold on my score line. That score line was at five and a half. And put this inside our card. <gasps> and then we'll have that part done or messed up. Okay, I think we're okay. Yep, we're fine. I'm going to get a different... Oh, I just put it on the front, you guys. <laughs> that rattled me. <laughs> okay, so we'll just do this. Don't worry. It's all under control. I'm going to get rid of this because it's got glue on it. And I just happen to have another one ready to roll here. All right, now, this part. We're going to stamp the greeting on here. I'm using Memento Black Ink, by the way but not for long. We're gonna switch here in just a second. I'm gonna put this right here. Oh, and that didn't work out so good, did it? Let's try that again. That's why they make two sides to each piece of paper. That looks better. And we're done with the Memento ink. Now we're going to come in with Stazon. Why am I using two different inks here? Well, I could have used the same ink. I could have used Stazon for all of this whole card. But Stazon doesn't really come off your stamps really good. Not that it matters, okay? It's not a big deal. But anytime I don't have to use Stazon, I use Memento Black. That's it. That's the only reason. It's easier to clean up. Um, but Stazon is, needs to be used for certain things. So we're going to get to that in just a second. I am going to glue my layer down 
and trim it off because I think it's too long. Yep, it is. I'm gonna glue that down right here. Okay, and then we're gonna, I like to use my bigger scissors when I have a bigger piece like this that I have to cut. Cause you don't get that chop, chop, chop. You know what I mean? Okay, oops, that isn't very straight. Let's try that again. There we go. Okay, now, this part's ready to be put on the front of our card, and so far, it's pretty boring, right? <gasps> oh, just wait. You're gonna love this. I love it when I get so excited about something. All right, I have already die cut a couple of these leaves in Granny Apple Green. Okay, so I've got that done. Next, what we're gonna do did anybody see that piece of window sheet? Here it is. You lose this on your table all the time. So we are going to stamp this beautiful flower from the um, promenade stamp set. What is that called? Beautiful promenade. We're going to stamp this in Stazon ink. Does anybody know what time it is? I don't want to keep you guys too long. It's already 820. Holy cow. Well, that's okay because this is the coolest thing ever and then I'll let you go. Okay, here comes our flower. Now, when you stamp on a window sheet, it's slippery. So you wanna kinda notice how I'm using my hand to brace it so it doesn't slide around. You wanna close up your stays on right away. And then I was gonna show you these window sheets. You get two 12 by 12 pieces of window sheet in a package when you order it from Stampin' Up. And its item code is 142314 easier to just go in and do a search for window sheet in my online store but you get two 12 by 12 pieces of window sheet and um, as long as we're looking at paper with the silver glimmer paper same thing you can go you can just search for the name in my online store you get two 12 by 12 pieces of glimmer paper in each packet we have it in gold silver um, pink what else? There's some other colors. I don't know. But if you if you search for glimmer paper, it'll all come up. You can see all of it. Okay. Now, I am going to pull out my Stampin' Blends. And I'm just going to use the dark one. And this is the Dark Poppy Parade. I stamped my image on this window sheet. And I'm going to turn it over. And we are going to color this with our Stampin' Blend markers. These are alcohol-based. They will dry on a window sheet. So this is cool. I saw this idea earlier this week, I think on our demonstrator website, on a demonstrator website, and I thought, holy cow, must do. So this isn't even the coolest part, you guys. I'm sure some of you probably also saw it and know what I'm about to do, but don't spoil it for everybody else. <laughs> okay, so here's our beautiful flower. We have a die to cut this out. Now, if there isn't a die for the flower, you can certainly um, cut it out with scissors. I'm going to bring my big shot in here, and we're going to cut out this flower. my screen yeah thanks for the hearts you guys did, how many of you did not know you could do this like that this would dry it is so so cool I can't even tell you all right we are going to die cut this flower and I have my um, magnetic platform in here if you don't have a magnetic platform it is really worth the investment to get one I'm not kidding I love that this all sticks in place I don't have to mess around with it moving all over the place. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, don't forget to share. Oh, Denise's dog is hearing the squeaking. Yeah, it squeaks when you color on um, the window sheets. Oh, let me find my die here. I lost one in my big shot one time. That was a very bad memory. And so, people still ask me, did you ever get that die out of your big shot? Nope, I did not, but I tried hard. Okay. Here comes our flower. Now, you're also going to die cut a piece of glimmer paper, silver glimmer paper, as a matter of fact. 
And through the magic of TV, I've already done that. Are you ready for this? This is the coolest thing ever. Mini glue dots. I'm going to put two of them on my window sheet flower any place. It doesn't matter. We're not trying to hide them. And then you're going to glue this with the mini glue dots to the silver glimmer paper. Do I hear applause? <laughs> because this is the coolest thing ever. Now, I wish I had come up with this idea myself. I don't know who did, but I saw it on the demonstrator website and I went, you have got to be kidding me. I was so excited. I couldn't hardly wait to try it. And I almost didn't get to this project tonight. We were going to do a different card and I thought, gosh, I got to do this glimmer paper see-through glitter thing. I don't know what it's called, but... It's amazing. <laughs> okay, let's finish our card. I am going to take some dimensionals and we're going to add the leaves to our card, or I mean to our flower with the dimensionals. And I'm just going to take this leaf and I'm just gonna kinda put it in here where I think it's gonna look good. That looks pretty good, right? And then I'm gonna stick my dimensional on the back so that it's holding my leaf. Then I'm gonna do the same thing with the other leaf. Now you have to make sure that, you know, this isn't gonna go over the edge of your card in some way, shape, or form, because we don't want that. I keep that right there, put this on here. Stick your fingernail in the middle to lift those edges up. Don't forget to share my video. <laughs> and, what do you guys think? Is that not like so, so cool? Yeah. And here's one with lovely lipstick. So we've got a lovely lipstick card base, the same happy birthday card with the silver glimmer paper underneath. Oh my gosh, we have just started something crazy, right? So, so pretty. So important things that you need to be able to do this. You need window sheets, okay? I sell them. You need stays on ink for sure. You cannot stamp on window sheets with any non, um, this is a fast drying ink. This is not, well, I mean it dries fast, but this will not stay on window sheets. This will. Beautiful, right? Okay, hang tight. And I am going to, Oh, I know what I want to tell you. The original card that I saw this technique with was with these flowers right here. And th these just stamped in black and then colored with the blends on the back of the, um, on the window sheet and then put with the glimmer paper behind it. Amazing. But I didn't want to copy that card, right? So yeah, so beautiful. I don't know what this technique is called but it's fabulous. So let me bring back my cards here. Did anybody have any questions that I did not see and did not answer? Because I can certainly do that right now. I'm watching my monitor a little more closely. Here comes all our cards from tonight. Oh, I have to tell you something. This card right here, you have to stop back on Wednesday because I made something else with these apples, like something else, and it's pretty cool, and I think you're going to love it. My Wednesday tip video will show you what I did with the apples to make something else. So um, the best thing you can do is subscribe to my blog. Uh, you go to www.astampabove.com, and in the right-hand column is a subscribe area. It's got a little blank in it. You just put your email address in there and click on subscribe. It will send you an email asking you to confirm your subscription. You just click on that link and boom, you're subscribed. What happens then is that every time I put something new on my blog, it will come into your email inbox so you don't miss anything. And you can look at them at your leisure. Um, it's, a, it's just a cool way to make sure you're not missing anything and keeping in touch with me. And let's see. We've got our Apple card. Our glitter technique, glimmer paper technique card, I don't know what to call it, and um, 
this beautiful card designed by Kathy Miller. If you'd like to place an order in my online store, please use the host code here and you will find my online store right there. I'm not sure what we're going to make next week. Which stamp set are the granny leaves from? Linda, that's a great question. They are actually part of the beautiful layers um, thinlets. This is a bundle. Beautiful promenade, beautiful layers. And that has an envelope for, you know, you can cut designer series paper out for the envelope flaps for stamping up envelopes. And then it has this leaf right here. That's where that came from. This is the top of a tag. This cuts out these flowers. This is a beautiful, um, uh, what do you call it? Like a sh um, pendant or something like that. Got some really neat elements in here and also the framelit for the outside of the flowers that I just cut out is also part of this bundle and this goes with that beautiful um, promenade paper that I've been using so much of too so yeah oh what time Wednesday Sharon it'll just be on my blog and I usually post to my blog at 6 30 a.m. Um, every day Monday through Friday so um, it's not going to be a Facebook Live. It's just going to be a post on my blog. I have a video made and ready to go that I'll post on Wednesday morning at 6.30. So if you subscribe to my blog, you'll get it in your email inbox. You don't have to worry about any timing. It'll just, it'll be there. Thank you guys so much. And Michelle, you are so welcome. Medallion. Thank you, Denise. I couldn't get that word out. Medallion. That's a medallion. Um, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching tonight. I really do appreciate that you take a little time out of your Sunday night to spend with me. Um, I have a lot of fun doing this. And it's even more fun with so many people that seem to um, enjoy it, right? Okay. Does anybody else have any questions? Um, Sharon, you just typed silver paper. It's silver glimmer paper. G-L-I-M-M-E-R. And like I said, we have pink and gold and red silver and there might be another color but I don't remember okay this has been the best hour of your day Lisa that's so sweet oh Denise says but with no glitter all over what's the hopes of I missed it what's the hopes of the herpes of crafting now I would say probably dazzling diamonds glitter in the little jar we can still get that all over and it never fails when I use it I will like um, run in the kitchen and come back and go into the bathroom and I'll be washing my hands in the bathroom and I'll have glitter on my face so yeah that never fails repeat my blog again it is www.astampabove.com That's where you're going to find my blog. My email address is Kelly. Instead of the www's, it's Kelly, K-E-L-L-Y, at astampabove.com. But this is, my, this is my blog. You want to go there. You want to subscribe. This has been so much fun, but I am now back off to watch the inside of my eyelids. <laughs> Good night, Lee. Thank you so much for watching. I know it's the middle of the night there. I think you said you were from Ireland. So thanks so much for staying up with me. I ran a little long tonight. What's on your glue dots? Oh, oh, yeah. And the other thing I forgot to tell you guys, you cannot see the glue dots through the acet or the window sheet at all. You do not see the glue dots. That's why I said you don't need to worry where you're putting them because you do not see them at all. Lovely lipstick, Poppy Parade. And this is another little handy trick that my friend Kathy Miller taught me. This is just a piece of ribbon, and it's tied around here so that people at my um, stamp classes do not take all of this off and tear it off and leave all these glue dots exposed, right? Because they like to tear off the excess all the way around until the glue dots are and then you put this back in the box and all those glue dots, the glue dots stick to the box. So you want to keep the glue dots covered up with this and that's, this just helps keep that there and you just pull it back as you use up your glue dots. So that's what that is. That's a great question. Thank you, Amy. Thank you, Diane. Thanks, Lorraine. Lorraine is still there, too. She's from England, and I know it's like probably 1 or 2 o'clock in the morning there. You're welcome, Arliss. I'm glad you could tune in tonight. 
Again, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for your online orders. That's what helps keep me in business doing the most incredible full-time job I have ever had in my life. I thank you for that. All right, I'm going to go. It's time. As soon as I get done with my Facebook Live, I shut everything off and I walk out to the garage and I have a little chat with my husband. I don't know if he was on watching tonight or not. Lots of times he is. He pops in and has a few smart comments like, I'm lonely. <laughs> Yeah, so he's pretty funny. But thanks, you guys, for the love. I appreciate it. You have a fabulous week. I will be back at 7 p.m. Central Time on August 19th. Bye-bye.